Hey guys, so I look cray cray. I just like got through doing my hair. But I wanted to show you guys how simple it is to have some fun with your short hair. Even when you're on the road, okay? So, I'm in New Orleans. Anybody right now who's in New Orleans, say what's up. So what I'm doing right now is putting some setting lotion in my hair. Because, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. But I wanna show you guys something really quickly. And actually what I was doing was playing in my hair before the camera came on, before I rinsed out my shampoo. And I was like, man, it's so easy to do waves on my own hair. So first of all, y'all gonna be saying, what is this? This is foam wrap. This is the influence foam wrap I talk about. If you subscribe and you better be subscribed, subscribe, turn on your notifications. If you're subscribed, you know I talk about influence foam wrap all the time. This is a Bath and Body Works bottle. Janky, I know. Your girl be on the road a lot. So every month, you know, I don't even know. I had a wig on today. And then I realized I want to do my hair. So my wig is on the bed. And um, I just wash my hair and stuff. But I was playing in my hair. So let me finish my sentence. This is foam wrap in a Bath and Body Works bottle because it can fit in my TSA bag because I do not carry on. I mean, I do not check luggage. If I cannot help it, I will not check luggage. So I only do carry on, so this has to fit on the plane. This, I used this for a month when I was in Barcelona recently, so trust me, this is enough. Some of y'all be a little too heavy handed thinking you need to take the whole phone bottle, you don't. So I don't have my setting lotion, so what I'm gonna do is put a little water in my hair because I'm about to show y'all something. I'm just gonna put a little water in my hair. You're gonna say, Keisha, why did you do that? Because I wanna show y'all something. I wanna show y'all how easy it is to do, I was just playing in my hair, how easy it is to do some waves. So if you're on someone's, if you're doing a client's hair, see stylists, y'all got to master this, okay? And if you're a client and you wanna do your own little waves, girl, here we go. So listen, if you wanna do some waves or you wanna get good at waving your own hair, you gotta practice the C shapes. So you guys, do you see how simple it is? Just make a dang C. Do y'all see that? Like, think of the letter, literally just think of the letter C. Literally. Now, let me show y'all something. You see that right there? I can't stand when people have clients looking bald. Why? Because I don't wanna look bald. And I don't want my client having you know like my ocds with my business and this is guys this is a super learning lesson i know i'm talking to the stylist and to the client but y'all just gotta bear with the add like don't give people stuff that you wouldn't wear so if you don't want to look bald do not be making people look bald so that right there a lot of times one of the mistakes people make is that they take an area that is thin and do the c that way really the c should go the other way to cover that up somebody right now needs to go fix somebody here and so you see how that looks better it's fuller okay so look now i gotta back up because i can't see it's really that simple guys when you're doing waves listen if your client here not waving easily then she probably need a relaxer can you do waves on can you, you can't really see. Can you do waves on people's hair that don't have relaxer? Yes. Is it gonna be the best looking stuff? I don't know. So, I just thought I would just turn the camera on because I'm literally just playing in my hotel room. Like, I'm gonna go out at some point, but it's New Orleans, you don't go out this early. So I figured, hmm, playing in my hair. Y'all see how easy I'm making these waves? Because I'm, some of y'all got to go grab five combs just to do a wave. Come on now. It's just do some dang C shapes. C. I'm literally, and I'm connecting them. So I'm only focusing on a small section. First this section, 
right there, just a little piece. And then bring around the other section. Forward C, backward C, and we're complete. Forward C, backward C, and we're complete. Forward C, backward C. I know anybody not know my damn though. That had to be an accident. Cause I would be like, who and what and why? And then I'm going ham. So guys, do you see how simple this is? Y'all gonna say what's up? I see y'all looking. Hi guys. So I'm just making some waves. Like, I just wanted to demonstrate that because sometimes people still say they're having problems with waves. And I think when you just practice, don't be tied to how you make the waves look on the head. But if you be tied, if you just get tied to like the practical part, you'll come up with some cute stuff. Like, and then don't make them so little. Have fun with it. You can play with it. Now, somebody might say, why did I put water in my hair? I put water in my hair because I don't have my setting lotion. And the setting lotion makes my hair really, really fluid. So, I don't want to wear waves on my hair. So, I'm not trying to make this perfect. Chantanette. Chantanette. Yep, Chantanette. Hey, girl. It is easy, y'all. I'm telling y'all. See, this is why it's not easy. Now, this don't look cute. I wasn't trying to, like, I don't even like waves on my forehead like that. But... Like, the key is to, like, literally, first of all, you need to have a nice, decent relaxer. But your hair, and the longer the hair, you will have to do, okay, I'm getting wet. The longer the hair, you will have to take a little, take a little time with your connecting the waves. I don't even want my waves to be connected. So let me give you some key points. If you're trying to make them, like, perfect, like the old school 90s connected waves, that's a whole different story because I don't care about connection I care about waves like so let me see if y'all can see so if you just focus on let's just comb it all out how about that when you're on someone's head let's comb the hair because most people do their waves like this way okay so if this is my mold if I'm gonna do my typical let me do my hair right okay y'all got to try to do too many cameraman like okay so typically people have their waves right here here's what you need to be focused on creating the C making sure that your comb it really you I'm about to be dramatic but this is kind of what you got to think you need to like make sure that comb is drag not you don't want to drag the scalp to where you're hurting someone my hair is drying out and you got to know when you got to add product. If the hair doesn't move as fast as I want, then I just need to add some more product. And that's why you got to use a nice product because if you use some cheap stuff, some some motions. Sorry for those who use motions, but if you use emotions, look, that's how you got baby make them motions work. I can make motions work, but I mean, I don't want to work that hard. But you got to know, you know, when the hair dry out, you need to be able to add product. And with waves, if you're really creating you want to be able to add as much product as you want without worrying about what can happen. So, you want to be able to create waves that are just fun. So, if you can, and, and try to stay within the width of the comb, like, or your two fingers, two fingers is better. But I'm working in this section only, then I'm going to go to this section. So, to connect it, I'm starting... See, the reason why people can't connect is because they worried about scared. They scared to mess up that one. But when you just take that comb and just blend it in there, it's like magic. It just blends. So they just automatically connect. And you're not gonna mess anything up. You just gotta trust that sh gotta trust it. And then they'll connect. I'm getting dizzy looking at the camera like this. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like you i'm getting dizzy hold on y'all let me look at this let me focus hmm this thing this seemed a little easier when i was doing it by myself without holding the camera <laughs> so as you can see that's not super cute and then i don't like that ball spot but my point i'm not gonna wear waves let's just be clear but my point is and if somebody here if that's how they got ball spots then you got to work on you got to work on, you got to get like, you know, the little fillers and stuff to make sure your client is confident. Some people be teaching against fillers and I'm not, why? I'm like, why? 
that makes the client excited. Like if I wanted to just wave my sides up and then mohawk the top of my hair or wave my sides up and do the Holly Berry little flip up at the front, like I can just with this, this right here. So guys, the whole thing is don't, you cannot be scared that you're going to miss. Most people cannot do it because they be scared. Oh, I'm about to mess it up. And when literally all you got to do is just, I'm going to put this camera down. All you got to do is literally just connect the waves. Can y'all see me? Just connect. And you're connect and it's just C shapes. So think, think in C's. Forward C, backward C, forward C, backward C. That's it. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I'm just playing in my hair. Because I'm in New Orleans and I'm trying not to eat all this fried food. And I'm just like, for real? But, you know, even right here. If I wanted to just go here and go here. Look how I just ended up, that ended up blending. That blended with the next one. That can go up there, and then this can go here. Oh, we can't see. The light thing, like, it keep changing. I don't know. Anywho. Is it, is it getting dark? I think it's getting dark. You can kind of see. What are the best ways to do it dry? When you're doing it dry, you want to do like an on base. It's called an on base curl. And then you got to do the same motions, the exact same motions when it's when you get ready to comb it out. This kind of cute shit. I'm going to keep this. Get them baby hairs real smooth. Get them little baby hairs. What? To the what, what? Shoot, I could dry this, put some flips at the top. Your girl will be in them streets later on. And listen, sometimes I just, most of the times I just wave the sides and like the very nape of the neck right here. And then I just curl the rest of my clients. So guys, y'all, listen, when it comes to your skill with, with your hairstyling, you want to work on, well, that's cute. Mm. First of all, practice on yourself because I feel like because I had to do my own hair when I was 13, 14, 15, this is why I know how to do hair. Because ain't nothing harder than trying to make yourself look bum, right? So I focused. I had to really focus and master every step because there was my mama was not paying for me to get my hair done. It was not an option. So if I wanted to be cute, I had to master the craft, okay? Now I was not doing short hair at that age. I was doing healthy hair at that age. So I wanted my hair to bounce like the white girls. So that's what I had to uncover. And so it took me reading books, looking at magazines, and really understanding product. Like, guys, product knowledge is everything because product knowledge will help you understand how to do someone, anyone's hair. You can put anybody in front of me. I can do their hair. It doesn't matter their race. It doesn't matter anything because I understand hair. And so a lot of times people just want to go to the next class. You can get the latest class, but you don't understand hair education, like hair structure. There's a science to it, so please believe. You gotta, it's an ongoing thing. It's not a one. That's why I created Short Hair Boot Camp, guys. Short Hair Boot Camp was because I was like, hell, you go to one class for $500, you go home, you still confused about, you got step three, but you need step one through 100. You know what I'm saying? So, and you need, to, if you're like me, you gotta learn at a at a I like to I like repetitive learning because when I set out to learn a new skill, I'm 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 in this thing for mastery. I'm not in this for today's trend. Today's trend can go away tomorrow. Honey, I don't need my coins to float with the trends. I need to have a stability, a sustainable system that works every time. So Short Hair Bootcamp Live is a sustainable system. It works every time. It is what I've been doing for five, six, seven years consistently. So I'm traveling. I'm using some dang Tresemme because I need some gel because I'm in this humid, humid, I'm in humid. It's humid. How about that? And that's it. And I'm probably going to go swimming. So hair is not my 
I just want to make sure, I just want to show y'all that because I was like, ooh, look how easy I make waves because I was just being in the mirror. But see, that just goes to show you like I don't even need to practice this. I'm always looking at how can I do it faster, better, more efficient, not faster, compromising quality, never compromise quality. But I'm like, how can I do this? I don't know. I just be looking at stuff. So that's how you should be looking at things. Like, how do I get better and better and better and better and better and better and better? The end. So that's my spiel. That's why I, I didn't know what I was. Oh, I was trying to show you the ways. But yeah, I created short hair boot camp because I realized that I have mastered the technique of getting the. Listen, if you do hair and every time you trying to figure out if the short hair gonna turn out right, you need to get your behind a short hair boot camp. For real. And and master a couple things. Like, what's your thing? Like, for me, short hair boot camp, it's, it's not about the trendy things that everybody's teaching for one-time use. That's why I really don't go that route. If you notice, I don't teach, like, trendy stuff. I teach sustainable stuff. Like, you, if you master, people always like, we're in the next class. Did you master? Can you, like, spit out the video? Mastery is the key. Anything you set out to learn, not just my class. It's not about me. Anything in life you set out to learn, you must set out to master it. If you have not mastered it, stop trying to add on some new shit. How about that? If you ain't mastered it, don't add no new shit. There we go. Because I, I be reading these emails and I'm like, they be like, what's next? What's next? And I'm looking at your work and it look like it's from the 80s. Like, are, is your bank account full? Because if it is, then you know what? Somebody like your 80s look at her style. But my bet, my bet. Is that ain't it? That means you need to master it. Guys, mastery is the key. And guess what? Mastery is a marathon. It is not some overnight popping stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make you a celebrity twist the song overnight type stuff. That's not what it is. So it's just very critical to understand the game that you're in. You're not in the hair game. Well, I would hope you ain't in the hair game. You know what? This chair is dirty. Hold, please. Uh-uh. I'm going to go ham on these people. Ew. I don't even know what that is. I'm just pissed that I just said on something. So, like the game is mastery, mastery, mastery. Can somebody please type that in the comments for me? Mastery, guys. Whatever you do. If you don't do short hair. If you do, uh, if you do braids if you do weave if you do like i don't know wash toilets for a living you better master it period so you can be the best like why did you get in this if you're not trying to be the best in your area i don't compete with nobody what up snap i don't compete with nobody next to me i'm not trying to compete with other educators i'm not trying to compete i'm not trying to compete like i don't care what they doing because guess what they're not doing they're not paying my bills so you have to actually my daddy told me that when i was a kid like are they paying your bills Hmm. Like, you got to really understand that you're in this because there is something that sparked inside of you to say, hmm, I'm going to get in the game. Did you get in the game to be basic? Did you get in the game to be broke? Did you get in the game to be tired? Did you get in the game to be average? Did you get in the game to look up and say, where are my clients? Why aren't people coming back? Did you get in the game to do a wonderful job and make people feel good? If you got in the game to win your level of winning, whatever your version of winning is, my success is not yours. Someone else's success is not mine. I can be inspired. I can be inspired by their actions and their results that they've created. But should I always got to say, well, what results do I want to create in the world? And I'm always constantly questioning myself because as soon as I'm done with, with whatever, I'm out. And I'm not emotionally tied to anything because, hey, I'm done. I'm not interested anymore. And see, so many people like, so tied to like sometimes you need to like chill like switch it something needs to switch so guys you just got to constantly know yourself and figure out what your truth is but what i will say the truth is of the game of short hair or hair in general is what have you mastered if you just do a bunch of everything your money look like a bunch of everything is up today is down tomorrow because it's a bunch of everything but when you're consistently giving a result People are going to look for you. I have people call me all the time. Literally, somebody just called me yesterday, and I was like, why are you calling me this late at night? She was like, I need you to do my hair. I was like, I don't do hair. And she was like, blah, 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 blah. We're going back and forth. I'm like, ma'am, stop asking me because it's not happening. Like, this is this lady trying to argue me about getting her hair done. Girl, you don't seen the old YouTube video. Like, 
And it's only because, first of all, she can't find y'all because y'all too quiet. You need to be seeing her. Remember, 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 remember. If you have a problem building clientele, go to LakeishaMichelle.com, click on online courses, get in the client building boot camp because people can't find you. Anyway, my point is, what was my point? Mastery. That's the point. Like, guys, you, you, you just pick one thing that you like, really like doing. And I don't even, some people try to be too emotional about it. I'm not in love with my job. Man, this is a job. Hairstyling is a job. J-O-B. I'm behind a chair and I'm working. It's the same if I go sit at a desk and answer phones. Now, I get to call my price for picking up that phone. So, guess what? This is a blessing and it literally allows you to design the life that you love. It allows you to get, somebody just has somebody's nail. These old expensive, ridiculous nails. It allows you to get that. It allows you to get, you know, whatever you want. Like, <laughs> there's no limit. The sky's the limit and it's a limit your hustle like how you hustle is your thing but like understanding that you gotta master something or you're just gonna be average and i'm just asking you like what did you join the game to do like what what did you join the game to do this is a really really knowledge preach i am preaching i don't know this is very random i did not come on to preach i'm so sorry but not really um mastery master i see y'all hey shonda What's up, Lashik? What's up, going? What's going on, y'all? Y'all, Suzanne, I'm trying tonight. Try it, girl. So you have a relaxer. Yes. Y'all know I will go natural tomorrow. So the reason why I can go natural so fast is because I keep my hair really short. So like recently, my hair was like a little fro back here. And then this part was a little poofy, but it still has some relaxed pieces. When it's really, really short, my hair is, it, it, it grows very fast. So it's like, if I just give it a month, I'll be back in afro. And then I just shave it off and then boom it's natural so um yeah that's how i go natural and relax so much i do not have the kind of natural hair that you can slick back like this that old that old silicone stuff don't slick back like that it's not happening not on this clock okay so no and i think people with that kind of hair are kind of delusional thinking that they can slick their hair back like that like stop playing who wants to work that hard oh they at the pool anyway um, I was trying to see what people screamed for. I made them make sure nothing was going on. I think I'm gonna take a bike ride around New Orleans. Mastering one thing. I'm just saying, y'all, mastery is the key. Like, think about it. Stephen Curry, like, people that are ball, ball players, they master that shot. They master, like, something. They get really good at something. And, and it, it brings the fame. It brings the lifestyle that they have that people aspire to get. People miss the part about them staying up all night doing that one thing that like attracted everybody to them like you look at beyonce we love it we aspire to be but that girl has a work ethic out of this world and that is the reason why she is one of the hottest artists in the game in the entire world like i'm no freaking beyonce and i know the reason it took me a long time to figure this out i would as in my youth like i'm old but like in my ignorance i would just want all these different things and it's like wait what did those people do to get there? Because that's what you study. You don't study the car that they drive. You don't study all of that stupid stuff that people go try to get before they've gotten somewhere. All that stuff comes so easy when you just freaking do the work. There's so much um, like people waiting for it to be hard or something. It's really just consistency. Like if you want to be really, you want to be one of the hottest short hair stylists, I think I don't care who's hot right now. If I decided that I want, when people say Holly Berry or short hair and I want the world to know my name, if that was my life's mission, please believe, give me a year. I'm so sure about it. Give me a year. It would be over, over, over. You wouldn't even know nobody else. If that was my decision, it's not. But I'm just saying, like, you've got to have that kind of determination. And it's like, for me, I just decided for me in my life that I wanted to master the Holly Berry hairstyle, the short hairstyle, so that every woman that sat in my chair, I could give them a result. That's all. That's what I wanted. And it resulted in a six-figure salon business in two different cities. So that was what I wanted. And I wanted to take the money and do some other stuff. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what I did. And that's why I get to be location-free and work from anywhere in the freaking world. Because I decided to master something. And I, But listen, I did try a lot of stuff. I was doing everything under the sun. And I realized, first of all, I didn't like the way my day felt when it was like, you look at the schedule and it's one long thing and one short thing. It's too much. 
I just want to get in and get out because this is a job. Some of y'all trying to like your make your business like you're emotional. You ain't no preacher. Stop preaching because you're not a, like this is not my preaching stage. Some people in there trying to be counselors at unbeted. <laughs> My daddy told me when I, he said, well, listen, with hair, you ain't no counselor. My daddy a G man. He's so wise with it. He's like, you're not a counselor. He said, you listen to people. And I said, don't be giving folks advice. That's not what you, you listen. You listen and make them feel heard and give them attention. But you're not their life coach. Or they're going to have to triple, quadruple that fee that they're giving you for the hour. So like. I just think, you guys, let's just reassess why we're doing things. Let's reassess what do we really want. What does your success look like? Don't look at someone else's. Be inspired by it. Aspire to. But, you know, this is your walk. This is my walk. Like, I get off on making people get results. I love waking up, looking at my phone, and people are like, boom, I just got booked. Boom, I just talked to four people. Boom, I just did. I'm like, yes. I'm looking at other people say, oh my God, my business feels easier. I feel enlightened. I, I, I finally feel like I can do this. Boom, that makes me so happy. So I know that I gotta keep going. I, I get it, I love it. And so then it's like, how do I get more people to get that result faster? And then it just I just get it better and better and better. So my goal is to get better and better and master the fact that I can talk to anyone. And I can talk to anyone and get them a result. Like, I'm just focused on results. No emotions. F that. No emotions. Just results. And it, and that's how it is with business, guys. With business in general, with relationships. Like, that's just the point. My people be talking. I'm like, what's the result that we're creating? creating? I need the result. No emotions. My daddy say, emotions cause you to sway. They on your sleeve. People can wipe them and push them around and do stuff. Keep them off your sleeve. I'm just saying. So anyway, you're just joining. Sorry, I was doing some waves. That's over. My hair is slicked back now. But now I'm ranting, as I do on most of my videos. And I was, I've was i come to realize that that is just what I do. I'm a ranter. Because, you know, I get so passionate about things. And I be fired up about what's happening. And I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody should be getting these results. And nobody has to suffer. And it doesn't have to be hard. And, and yes, listen, guys, for those of you who are in my client building boot camp. It is hard, quote unquote, because you got to do the work. And most people don't be wanting to do the work. So it feels hard. But once you're committed, like, what are you committed to? In my hair business, I was committed to making women, you know, get consistent, consistent, consistent beauty looks, right? There was a certain look I wanted to create for women. I wanted them to get, I want to be able to deliver that look consistently no matter when the person changes. So it required me to master my short hair styling. And I realized that the reason why I mastered it is because I focused on Halle Berry and I broke her hairstyle down into pieces and pieces and pieces. And then I made it happen. And so that's how I got that. Then I realized that I love business. Like I love growth of business and business development. I, I'm just a serial entrepreneur. So now it's fun because I've always been interested in that. But in order to really get go there, I needed to prove that I can do, you know, I needed to like, I have to, why would you go to somebody to tell that? And they say you can build a six figure business. If you haven't built a six, if you haven't built a six figure business, it doesn't make any sense. So I've done that twice. And so it's like, oh, there's commonalities. And I've not only done that, been able to teach so many different people how to build their businesses and how to create client attraction systems that last and sustain while you're sleeping. So I did that, you know, for myself and other people and validated it to make sure that what I know is true and fact and can work for anyone when they do the work. And so now I get to do what I do today. But guys, there was just a lot. It was a whole lot of work that went into that. You know what I'm saying? So like we can't skip steps. Like it just doesn't make any sense. We can't skip steps. We can't skip steps. Oh, my client says, hi, Lakeisha. She just want to say, miss you, proud of you, and everything you're doing. You truly inspire me. Oh, oh. I love it. Anywho. And then you have these relationships. Look at these. My clients text me. She's like, I miss you doing my hair, but I found someone. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm going to go now. This is very random, so hope it gave you some value, though. And the moral of the story is practice your waves. And um, be committed and master what it is that you, you know, the thing that you want to achieve. Like, just knock out all the random stuff and just pick something and master it. 
and make sure that everybody knows you for that thing. It doesn't mean that you can't do all your other dreams. It just means that that's going to be a stepping stone to your dreams, guys. Understanding that mastering one thing and, and until you blow up your block, until everybody knows you for it in your world, um, that is a stepping stone to get you to the next thing that you want. And so when you look at things that way, it actually gives you motivation to keep pushing, you know, on those moments where you want to quit, guys. Whatever you want, you can have. It will take work. It ain't no magic. You ain't going to blink and it's going to happen. It requires you to get uncomfortable, talk to people that you don't know, you know, do all of those random things. But, yo, it's like that's just the name of the game. That's business. So, anywho, if you want to learn how to do some short hair, you can always go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. It's 19 bucks a month. You can watch it all the time and master the step and the hair process that you you are having trouble with, right? You can master that. If you are looking to build your clientele, if you've had clients, they've fallen off. If you're just getting in the game, like, and you want to, you know, be seen, be heard, and you want everybody to know your business, join the Client Building Bootcamp. You can go to LakeishaMichelle.com, click on Online Courses, and you'll see Client Building Bootcamp right there. And do I teach sew-ins? No, I don't. Um, I used to do sew-ins, but I don't teach them. I wasn't, see, my, my attention span for that wasn't long-term. But um, who, who do I know that I've taken? I've, I used to take Paris. Paris Payne, sew-in beast. Like, she's amazing. I don't know that, I don't even know she does it anymore, but she used to give really good sew-in classes. Um, Christian, um, what is her name on? Christian actually taught me my first good sew-in. I think it's like, let me see what her, because Christian is amazing. I don't even know that she gets classes. On Instagram, she's the only K Rob. The only, the letter K and then R O B. Hit her up and see if she's giving sewing classes. Because that girl, braid pattern, that's what helped me even understand how to do sewings ever. And um, she's amazing. She has a hairline, all kind of stuff. She's a, I think she's very, very, very brilliant. And she's definitely someone you would want to follow. Start following people that specialize in stuff so you can get specific help. Because that's pretty damn powerful. Nice to be live with you. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thanks so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, this is a good point you just made. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Keith says, looks beautiful. I love it. Beauty with Marie says, plan your work and work your plan. Girl, you must follow me or something. Girl, you be listening to them videos, girl. Yvonne Beauty, what's going on? Hey, girl. I love it. I love it. I love hanging out with y'all. I feel like I know y'all. Um, nice to be live with you. I do. <laughs> I know, huh? So, y'all, make sure that you're trying to master and mastery is something that you work at every day and it's breaking down the thing that you say you want and just mastering each step don't try to master the whole thing at one time master step one do not go to step two until you master step one a long time ago years ago i heard beyonce say in an interview that when she has to learn a song she only learns the first verse and she doesn't pass the first verse until she knows the first verse and then she asks the chorus and then she doesn't pass the first verse and the chorus until she knows both thoroughly. And then she adds the second verse. And she doesn't pass the second verse until she knows the first, the chorus, and the second verse. And then she adds the bridge. She doesn't pass the bridge of the song until she knows the first verse, the chorus, the second verse, and the bridge. And then she's done with the freaking song, okay? That's how she mastered the song. And I was like, oh my God. And I started doing that because I would try to listen to the whole song and learn the whole song for, you know, all day. And then it's like, no, if you just break down the verse and even in the first verse, I would learn the first line, figure out how can I make it stay in my memory. And then I go to the second line and the third line until I've learned the whole first verse. Do y'all see how I just broke that down? It went from a song to a verse to the first line of the verse, to the second line, to the third, to the until it's the first verse, and then you go to the chorus. And then the chorus, you gotta break that down to line one, line two, and then now you know the chorus. Now you got all of them lines to make the first verse, all of them lines to make the chorus. Now it's time for the second verse. Same thing, second verse, you need to learn line one of the second verse, line two of the second verse, line three of the second verse. Listen, guys, this is a marathon. This is not a freaking sprint. This is your life, your life, your life. If you are looking to build clientele, this is about you really digging in and 
getting hungry. Like, and you got to be in it for the long run. You got to be willing to call people, talk to people that you haven't talked to. You got to be willing to super, super hustle, super, super, super hustle, super talk to people. Be willing to call back even though you feel like you're bugging people. Be willing to walk up to people in the store even though you feel like you're bugging people. Be willing to ask people, yo, like, you, can, I can't be scared to offer you my courses. They don't think I'm trying to sell. Hell yeah, I want you to buy this because I want to help you. And the way I can help you is if you buy what I got because I know I can help you. Bank on that. Now, I can't make you do the work, but I know what I know is a fact. And I've gotten results for now hundreds of people. So it's like, what the, f either you in or you out. How bad you want it? Like, what's up? So it's on you. Like, are you going to do the work? Because what I have, can guarantee you is that the, the formula is real simple. And I can just help you be accountable. I'm cool to be a coach, right? So also, that's the believing. What do you believe? Because, you know, do you believe you can help people? Because, I mean, if you don't believe you can help people, it's not going to work. So even if you feel like your skills aren't where they're going to be, you got to believe in your hair skills, guys. Because I didn't do... I had to believe that I can make somebody's hair look cute before I actually felt super, super confident. Because that's what made me kept going back and getting new customers and not quitting every time I made somebody's hair look ugly. Because believe it or not, even when I was doing sew-ins, that's how I knew I needed to stop. Well, actually, I started mastering it and I was making a lot of money doing sew-ins. But, but when I first started, it was like, this here? And when I got done with somebody here, I was like, do she like it? Girl, hey, girl. Girl, that's cute. But I had to keep going because I knew that I was going to get better. I was committed to getting better. And then after a while, I realized, you know, it's just not my favorite thing. Once I did actually master it, like, I could give it, I could deliver the same freaking result with the sew And I was like, oh, finally, it felt really good to master it. Then I realized I'm just not that interested because it's the same boring thing. Short hair, I get to cut, I get to color, I get to put the texture, and I just never get sick of it. Sew ins, I got sick of it. So, it's, anyway, I'm done. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. If you need more assistance with building your business or learning short hair, go to LakeishaMichelle.com. Plenty of courses to help you. I'm helping plenty of people. Need some testimonials? Text me, 214-675-7115. I'll prove to you who's actually making way by taking my courses. Bing. Anywho, this video was random. I miss you guys. I haven't been live streaming because I've been in a business conference. I've been masterminding with my coach. And um, everybody needs a coach. And um, it's been super fun getting my fuel, getting motivated, getting some, some, some inspiration, watching other people win, close deals. It's like, it makes me so excited. So that's what I've been up to. And so now I'm in New Orleans and I'm probably going to go out tonight and walk the streets and see the music and eat something good. So yeah, that's all. I hope that you guys practice your waves too because the waves that I did at the beginning of this video, if you're just joining, the waves at the beginning, if you just practice the C shape and just do it on your head or your mannequin head or find a client that will let you play on their hair every week for free, like master that so that it's so simple so that you don't freak out when it's game time game time is somebody in your chair and now you're going oh shit because last night you watched youtube instead of freaking picking up the comb and doing the work do the work master it do the work master it do the work master it and then boom when they sit in your chair you're like shoot i'm better than i was yesterday and then after you're done, you're like, mm, I did better than yesterday, but I need to add a couple things. Go back and master it. Turn the dang TV off. Turn off social media and master it. Yeah, I know I'm saying this and you're watching me on social media, but I'm just saying. YouTube is a rabbit hole. You turn, click one video, next thing you know, two hours later, you're watching 100 videos. So, anywho, peace out, guys. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see the videos because I put out stuff that helps your life, okay? That's what I like to do. Put out stuff that makes you happy, that makes you feel good. Put out stuff that makes you wanna get into action and get results for your life so that you can enjoy life on your terms. That's what I'm about. Put out stuff that just inspires you to create to whether it's a song, whether it's a hairstyle, whether it's a business. Like, you know, just try to keep you guys inspired. So if you want inspiration and positivity, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.